compassions do not fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I wait for him. stand against the wiles of the devil. Sovereign Lord has given me his words of wisdom, so that I know how to comfort the weary morning by morning, he awakens me and opens my understanding to his will. Also are your thoughts to me, O God. How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than sand. When I awake, I am still with you. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. The Lord 
Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. and build each other up just as you are already doing Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. whether both alike will be good. Truly the light is sweet, and it is pleasant for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man lives many years and rejoices in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they will be many. All that is coming is vanity. God 
is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will not be hungry, and the one who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as for me, I will sing about your power. Each morning I will sing with joy about your unfailing love. For you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. early before the sun is up. I cry out for your help and put my hope in your words. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided to you. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Here is what I have seen. It is good and fitting for one to eat and drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor in which he toils under the sun all the days of his life, which God gives him, for it is his heritage.
Sing the praises of the Lord, you His faithful people. Praise His holy name, for His anger lasts only a moment, but His favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. The Sovereign Lord will show His justice to the nations of the world. Everyone will praise Him. His righteousness will be like a garden in early spring, with plants springing up everywhere. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. so shine for men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. so disturbed within me. Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. right hand. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Wisdom, ask our generous God, and He will give it to you. He will not.
not rebuke you for asking. transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. As for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. This thing saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. in the morning, for I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Yet 
The Lord will command His loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night His song shall be with me and my prayer unto the God of my life. is good to all. He has compassion on all He has made. the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Cast your burden upon the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Peace I give with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor shall the flames scorch you Search me, God, and know my heart. Put me to the test and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there is any hurtful way in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. of my 
mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. 